<coughs> Testing. All right, everyone. So, as promised, we have entertainment for tonight. And she has a special song to a certain someone. So, please, everyone, please give it up for Demi Clavado. Thank you, Charlie. Hello, everyone. My name is Demetria, but you guys can call me Demi. Anyway, um, there's a girl in the crowd that I kind of want to shoot my shot at, and uh, this is how I'm going to do it. So, Risa, this is for you. There's an S under my clothes On my chest where nobody else can see I light up when the doors are closed I am free And I wish I could make my move I can tell that you're really in me And I don't got a thing to lose In my dreams, in my dreams First of all, your voice is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I've been singing for a while. But yeah, I saw you and I just, you know, had to shoot my shot with you. <laughs> well, I gotta admit, you have me very <laughs> swayed. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, is there a way that I can get to know you more? Well, maybe you can swing by my place? <laughs> well, normally I'd say take me out to dinner first, but I think you already proved yourself. <laughs> sure, I'd love to go to your house. Awesome. <laughs> well, uh, let's get off the stage. Performance is over, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Evander, do you sing? Nah, not really. I mean, 
I do a little bit, but not much. I more so write music, and uh, I write for um, Demi, but she's actually better at coming up with lyrics than I am. <laughs> kind of slacking. But enough about me. What about you? Well, I mean, you told me that you saw me sing. I already know that. I meant, like, what else is there to know about you, Dana? Like, what are your interests? Oh, um, <laughs> well, uh, aside from singing, I like to write. I also play piano. Um, I like to read and, um, you know, I also like to dance. Cool, cool. Uh, do you do anything else? Like, any TV shows you like? I don't really watch a lot of TV. Um, I mean, unless cartoons count. Like, do you like Spongebob? <laughs> Who doesn't like Spongebob? <laughs> um, I also really like anime. Really? Same! Oh my gosh, awesome! What's your favorite? I have two. My Hero and Skate the Infinity. Oh my gosh, I love Skate the Infinity. As for My Hero, I like that one too, but I like the manga better. Okay, solid. Um, you know, uh, if you're not busy, maybe you and I could maybe watch some? If that's okay with you? Kinda like a Netflix and chill kind of deal, except with anime? <laughs> um, sure, I'd love to. Okay, um, here, here's my number. Oh, okay, uh, here's mine. <laughs> awesome, uh, you wanna maybe go dance? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> okay, awesome, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Dana. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. Risa and Dana are lucky. Hey now, you'll find someone, okay? Just focus on yourself like your therapist said. Yeah, but it's been months. I really, really, really want someone, Nico. Just be patient, okay? It'll be alright. I mean, if you really, really want someone, though, have you ever tried getting back with Parker? No, and I don't want to. I know I'm doing better now, but I think it's just best for him and I to just stay friends. I don't want to keep running back to him over and over all the time, you know? I understand. Well, just keep your head up, okay? You'll be alright. Thanks, sis. <laughs> it's nice to get away from the crowd for a little while. Always is while I'm with you, love. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be right back, okay? I'm just gonna go get some air. Alright, baby, be careful out there. You sure you don't want me to go with you? I'll be okay. I'll call you if I need you, okay? Alright. Alright, YouTube. What do you have? Oh, Melanie has a new song. Um, Britney Spears also has a new song. <laughs> Lots of new music, huh? Oh, this video looks funny. Nate, have those chicken strips. Fuck your chicken strips! <laughs> Go. Fuck your chicken strips! Oh, <laughs> uh, excuse me? Uh, how can I- <gasps> Um, hey, Sid. Rick? What the fuck are you doing here? Look, Sid, I'm not here to hurt you. I just- Take one more step towards me, and I will scratch your eye out like I did last time. I'm not here to hurt you, I swear. I don't trust you, Rick! I know, but you need to- Don't come close! Charlie! I heard from outside the window, what- Charlie, um- Hey, look, man, I I'm not here to hurt you, girl. I'm just. Ugh! Oh, fuck! Oh, my nose. Ugh. Charlie, please, please don't hurt me, okay? You got some goddamn nerve to step foot on my club back lot. I, I know, you know? Okay. Then why the fuck are you here? Because if you're here because you know I owe you a goddamn ass beating, oh, I suggest you hold still. Unless you want to go to jail, well, that's where you should be! If you let me fucking talk, I'll tell you! I don't think I should. Please. Please. Just hear me out, and if you say no, then I'll leave you alone. For good. I promise. Fine. What is it? Well, first, I came to apologize to Sid for what I did to her those years ago. 
I'm not asking for forgiveness. I just wanted to say I'm sorry, okay? I don't know why I did what I did. I... I was a bad person. I had issues of my own and... Well, while I was in jail, I... I kind of reunited with my dad. Those stupid cops sent me to the same jail my dad's in. And, well... All I can remember was when he basically tried to kill me. And afterwards, I decided that it's time for me to stop acting like a jackass. That it's time for me to, you know, mature, grow up in a way. So I got therapy, I went to rehab, and I'm doing much better. The cops basically empathized with me, and I got my sentence cut because at the end of the day I was still a teenager, still am. So I ended up doing, you know, community service for a while, but my time's up and I just want to ask if I could have my old job back. I know what I did was unforgivable and you have every right to deny me, but I have nothing left for me. My mansion's gone. Everything I own is gone. I basically am homeless. None of my family members will take me in. So I just need a job so I can work. Charlie, what I did was awful, but please, I, I need this job. It's the only thing I know how to do. The answer is hell no. Wait, Charlie. At the end of the day, the decision is up to you, but why not? Sid, are you forgetting what he did to you? Yeah, I know, but look, if Rick says that he's a better person, we should give him another chance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. <sighs> Sid, I love you. I do not want that bastard in my club where he could potentially not just harm you, but others. I know, but if I can learn to grow past everything, the least we can do is just give him a job. And if he messes up, then you can fire him. He can never be here again. Please. Fine. This was your idea. Calm down, okay? Remember, I'm safe with you. <sighs> you are so lucky that Sid is a good young woman. So, I'll let you back in just this once. But I swear to God that if you make one goddamn mistake. If you touch her or any of the girls in there, I will not only fire you, I will beat your ass so bad you are going to wish you never met me. You are going to work hard. You got it? Yes. Yes, I, I promise. I am not a full believer of people that are from jail getting out and becoming a better person. But you might just change my mind. So I'm giving you this one chance, okay? Yes, I understand completely. Thank you so much. And again, Sid, I'm sorry for what I did to you. I really am. And I'm not only sorry for what I did, I also want to apologize for lying to you. All those years ago when Charlie broke up with you, I knew what happened in there. It's just, at the time, I couldn't tell you, so... I'm sorry, and I'm glad that you guys are back together. You guys belong to each other. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. <sighs> and I guess I can help you get back on your feet a little bit. Tonight, after my shift, I'll have you booked to a hotel room, okay? You're gonna stay there for a few nights until you are ready and up on your feet to get your own place back. The money that I'm going to be booking the hotel should cover you for at least a month. But during that time, you will be working until you have enough money to either pay for the hotel room or get your old mansion back. 
it's up to you. Thank you so much. All right. But that is just for the hotel, and I will throw in an extra hundred dollars just so you can have food to eat. All right? Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Really. I don't deserve this, I know. You really don't. You really don't. Charlie. <sighs> now. Get out of here. I don't want to see you for the rest of the night. Thank you. Thank you so much. And again, I am sorry. Okay. <sighs> you okay? I'm fine. And look, I am so sorry that I yelled. I was just angry and you know I love you. I want to protect you with my life. And I do not want anything happening to us again. I know, and I love you too. But I want to give him a second chance. Just this once. I don't want to have bad turns with anybody anymore. I've been so happy. I don't want that to change. I just want things to be right for everyone. <sighs> You're so... So precious, baby. But you also gotta know that not everyone deserves a second chance. I know. But let's just see how it goes, okay? <sighs> Alright. I love you. I love you so much. I want you to be safe. I want you to be happy. I am. I am, Charlie. I'm glad you are, baby. I'm glad you are. Do you want to head back to my place after our shift? <laughs> you know I do. all my new posters. <sighs> hmm, what's this? Oh. Drake said, is for the best. Hello? Hey Candy, it's Dakota. <gasps> hey baby! Oh my gosh, I am so glad you called. I actually um, want to tell you something. Oh, uh, really? Because I have to tell you something too. Oh, okay, uh, do you want to discuss it over the phone or do you want to meet somewhere? Um, is it alright if we meet somewhere? Yeah, I'm so glad you said that because my news is big and oh my gosh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> well, I try to be for you, right? <laughs> yeah, but um, my news is pretty big too, so is it alright if we meet somewhere like quiet and cozy, like the coffee shop or something? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, I'll see you then. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Oh, but before you hang up, uh, are you okay? Cause, you know, you sound sad. Um, I'm okay. Just tired as all. Oh, alright. You sure you're okay, Cody? Cause you know you can tell me anything. I know, baby. But, I'm okay. It's just, um, I just can't wait to see you. Okay? <laughs> alright. I'll see you soon. 
Let's see you soon. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this cake. Thank you so much. Cody, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking me out. This is the yummiest coffee place I've ever been to. Yeah, my sister Opal recommended it to me, so it is cute, and plus it's your style. <laughs> From one girly girl to another. Mmm, <laughs> this is so good. I'm glad you're enjoying. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Dakota, are you okay? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Because you didn't order anything and you look sad. It's just there's something on my mind that I have to tell you, but I'm gonna wait till you're done. Oh, um, okay, if you say so. I'm almost done anyway. <sighs> I'm sorry. You don't deserve this at all, but I have to do this. I'm all done. <laughs> um, so, do you want to go first? No, no, no. Um, sorry. <laughs> you go first, baby. Okay, well, <laughs> I got into my dream school. Guess who's going to New York after she graduates? Candy, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. So, what's your news? Candy, you may want to sit down for this one. Oh, um, okay. Okay, first and foremost, congratulations on you going to New York. I am proud of you. I really am happy for you. I kind of knew you were going to get in there anyway because you're so smart and you're so amazing in everything you do. Thank you. You're welcome. This is really hard for me to do this because I love you so much. But um, the one thing that I have to tell you is gonna hurt you and I'm sorry I want you to know that you didn't do anything wrong I just want to let you know that first you are so amazing that I I really hate doing this to you but I'm just gonna flat out say it Candy, I love you, but we can't be together anymore. What? What? <laughs> this is some kind of sick joke, right? Cody? It's just... We've been distant lately. And that's no one's fault. Life just happens. But I just can't be with you because I've been trying so hard to suppress these feelings that I've been feeling. I love you, but there's someone else on my mind almost 24-7, and I just can't keep holding that in. To tell you the truth, I think I still have feelings for Jackson, but I don't know, and a wise friend of mine told me that if I don't know what I want, the best thing to do is to step out. Because if I stay with you, I'm going to do nothing but hurt you as you get happy and happy and happy the longer I stay. 
and I don't want to lead you on. So, I'm sorry to do this now, but I'd rather tell you now than keep it in and basically lie to you and just hurt you. You deserve someone so much better than me, Candy. I am a terrible person. I mean, come on, you're basically dating a criminal and you deserve someone that isn't like me. See, what's gonna happen to you is that you are going to grow and be this successful young woman and you are going to shine. You have a bright future ahead of you while I am still stuck, jobless, not going to college. You're gonna be amazing, Candy, and please just stop talking, okay? Just stop. This is a lot to take in, you know? I know. I'm sorry. I just had to get this out. <sighs> you know, I had a feeling that one day this day would come, but I didn't want to believe it. I thought that, you know, the time came where I would go to New York. I wouldn't have you in my life because of the distance and how far it is. But since you're being honest with me here, I understand. It's just, you know, I, I thought that we would be together forever, you know? I know. <laughs> you are my everything, Dakota. But you're right, <laughs> you're right. But I want you to know that you're not a terrible person. Yeah, you did really, really, really fucked up shit, but you're not that guy anymore. You're growing, and you did an amazing thing by getting your family out of that house. You fought so hard with your life just to protect your siblings and others that care about you. I know. So I don't want you saying that you're a terrible person, Cody. I don't. Please don't ever say that to me again. I love you, Candy. And thank you for telling me that, because I won't lie, I, I've been putting myself down almost the whole time we were together, but you were always there for me to cheer me up. You mean so much to me. <laughs> but know that no matter what, I will never forget about you. I will always think of you, okay? <laughs> you always be on my mind. <laughs> me just yet. Please, don't leave me just yet. I want us to be together until the end tonight. Please. Until the end tonight. I'll do that for you. You too. I'll never forget about you. <laughs> but you had good news tonight. So let's try to get ourselves together <laughs> and let's celebrate your 
big achievement. Okay. Okay. Let me wipe those tears off that pretty face. <laughs> It's your night. What do you want? <laughs> I guess another cupcake. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Cody. You're welcome. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Hi, can I get another cupcake? It's midnight. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Dakota. Best friends. Best friends. Mom, I'm... Oh! Oh, shit! Candy! Candy! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> hey, hey, shh. I'm here. What happened? I'll tell you both when I get inside, okay? <laughs> yes, both you girls, inside. It's getting cold out. Come on. Go inside, okay? I'm here. Thanks. I'm gonna kill whoever made you cry. Uh, what? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, boss. 
It's all right. You can sleep after you're done closing tonight, okay? <laughs> all right, sir. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good night. All right, see you tomorrow. All right. Um, excuse me. Huh? Oh, uh, hi. Sorry, we're closed. Oh, you are? <sighs> Dang it. I'm sorry. It's... I don't mean to be that person, but listen, I, I really need some food, okay? I'm really sorry to be this person. It's just, I was applying to a lot of different jobs all day and my dad, he works a lot trying to take care of the both of us. He works about like three to four jobs and he hasn't eaten anything in days and I just really, really need some food. I'm sorry. Hey now, it's okay. Um, I can make you at least maybe one personal pizza. Are you sure? I really don't mean to be a burden like this. I'm really sorry. No, it's cool. Um, just have a seat over there and uh, I'll make you a pizza. Is there any toppings you want specifically? No, no toppings, please. Just one large plain pizza. Coming right up and just for you, I'll put it on the house, okay? No, no, please don't do that. I insist, okay? Just have a seat. You really didn't have to do that, but thank you. No problem. Funny enough though, I was actually gonna make myself my own pizza. Thing is, whenever my boss leaves me to close, I kinda take advantage of getting free pizza. And corporate hasn't caught me yet, so I think I'm okay. Then again, when the hell does anyone care in Mystic Falls? <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right about that. <sighs> Here's the pizza, let me just go heat it up for you. Thank you so much. <sighs> You're welcome. I understand where you're coming from. My dad works hard too, um, except he doesn't work three to four jobs. Your dad on the other hand, that's crazy. Yeah, it's just ever since my parents, they got divorced, um, my mom basically walked out on all of us and it's just been him and I, you know? Damn, that sucks. You're not alone. It's just me and my dad too. Um, I have a brother, but he walked out of my mom. Unfortunately, she passed away many years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. Uh, I just, you know, continue on the last words that she said, which is to be brave, to be smart, and to be strong. Your mom sounded very wise. Yeah, she was. <laughs> but anyways, um, let's not talk about that. I'm sorry I dropped that on you. Uh, where are my manners? I'm Drake. What's your name? It's Diamond. Well, nice to meet you, Diamond. But, um... So, you were trying to apply for jobs and stuff? Yeah, and I had so many interviews to go to because I just need a job so my dad can take it easy. He always tells me that he's fine and he's fine, but I see him. Every time he comes home, he's exhausted. I haven't seen him eat anything in days except fucking ramen noodles. He eats one meal a day, but makes sure that I have something to eat. And I'm tired. I, I just... I want him to be okay, and a lot of jobs just keep denying me for whatever reason. But if I don't get a job soon, I'm... I'm scared that my dad will keel over. <laughs> I worry about my dad every day. I don't know if it's the way I look or if I'm not good enough. I, I don't know. I'm sorry for crying like this. This is embarrassing. No, it's okay. Come here. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. Hey, look at me. Your dad's not going anywhere, okay? He loves you and he is strong fighting for you. I have a very good relationship with my dad, but there is no better relationship between a daughter and her father. And if you love your dad and your dad loves you, he will listen to you. Yeah, you're right. I just... I really try not to let him see me like this. But what good does it do for me if I'm not telling him how I feel, right? Yeah. <laughs> but hey, if you want, um, I can walk you home and I will stand with you while you tell him. You would do that for me? I don't see why not. Sure. Thank you so much. And if anything, I can help you with your resume. Maybe there's something wrong with that if you can't get a job and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you so much, Drake. You're welcome. Oh, that's the pizza. <laughs> All right, I'll get it out of the oven, I'll put it in a box, and then I'll take you home, okay? Yeah, thank you so much again, Drake. I owe you one. Hey, the only thing you need to do is just keep that pretty smile on your face, okay? Oh, uh, <laughs> go 
get me my damn pizza. <laughs> that made you laugh though. <laughs> you did, you did. All right, let me just turn off the light. All right. All right, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'll take you home. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>